For this video, I'm talking about the Keto Diet for Dummies by Rami Abrams and Vicki Abrams. Before I start talking about this book, I want to tell you a little bit about the ketogenic diet, what it is and what it isn't. The ketogenic diet is a high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. It is not a high protein diet. A lot of people think it's a high protein diet and that's going to ruin the kidneys, but no, it's not. The authors start by explaining different types of keto, like there's the standard ketogenic diet. And this is 25 grams of carbs a day. I think maybe 20 is better just because I've had experience in that. And this is the basic keto diet. It's the high fat, moderate protein, low carb diet. Now there's targeted keto and this is more flexible. It allows you to eat carbs, maybe a lot more carbs than 20 grams around the time that you exercise. And then there's cyclical keto, and this is for like the ultra marathon runner or professional athlete, where you would go keto five days a week and then on the weekends eat whatever you want. Sylvester Stallone talked about this back in the 80s. I guess he did this, Schwarzenegger and those guys did this too. They did keto throughout the week and then I think maybe Saturday or on Sunday, whichever they would just carb load. They would eat a lot. There's also high protein keto diet. And this is an option for people who want to bulk up. I, I don't have any experience with that. I just don't see any point in it, in my opinion. Now you can see if you're in ketosis or not by using urine strips or having a blood test. Now the benefits of the ketogenic diet are many such as weight loss, improved body composition, increased energy, improved mental focus, better sleep, stabilized blood sugar, healthier cholesterol levels, reduced blood pressure, reduced acne, less inflammation. I also think that libido should be mentioned here because after a little while on a ketogenic diet, you will notice that your sex drive will go way up higher than you've ever experienced before in your life. At least that's what I've experienced. And I'm currently moving back into the ketogenic diet again. So I've cut back on my carbs and I have noticed that my libido is rising. Maybe it's just me. Maybe other people don't have this experience. I don't know. Now, potential drawbacks of the ketogenic diet is just basic stuff like keto flu, you know, you have some brain fog, constipation, possibly, or you'll feel tired, you have muscle aches. I get the muscle aches, and I get a little bit of the brain fog as well, but this will pass. Also, there's keto breath, which is not a big deal. I get the metallic breath. I've had the fruity breath, but I get the metallic kind a lot. Keto acidosis, probably a doctor will tell you, oh, you don't want to do keto because you'll get keto acidosis. But that happens with type 1 diabetics. My brother had keto acidosis, but he's a type 1 diabetic. So I've never experienced anything like that. He may also experience some nutritional deficiencies. Personally, I would take supplements, and I, I still do. I don't take them every day, but I still take supplements maybe three or four times a week, just in case. To get the best out of ketosis, you might want to do intermittent fasting, but you also really need to exercise. Then you'll get the best out of ketosis. All right, so foods you can eat on a ketogenic diet, well, eggs, meat, chicken, turkey, uh, broccoli, cauliflower, bell peppers, olive oil, coconut oil, avocados, and if you decide to drink, which I don't recommend, but if you do, hard liquors are the ones you'll want to choose because they have no carbs in them. Now there's lots of different recipes at the end of the book, and then there's the part of tins and all that stuff, but I think you should read the book because 
there's a lot of vocabulary in this book that will make you somewhat of an expert on the diet. So I recommend you read the book. I'm just giving you a brief overview, but reading the book is where it's at. I hope this video helps you, and I hope it inspires you to get the book. I got the book, I think, at Goodwill for 50 cents. So if you can find it there or go to eBay or something. I'm not selling the book. I'm just saying that you should read it, but I get nothing out of it. Just the personal satisfaction of having recommended it to you. So that's all I got. Talk to you later. Bye.